Deep within the heart of Balata refugee camp are some of the Palestinian Authority, the PA's most wanted. The PA says there are about 15 of them in all, accused of criminal acts related to gun crime and extortion. Hatem Abu Rizak is one of them. He spent time in an Israeli prison on what he says were charges related to resisting the occupation. He says the PA charges against him are politically motivated. He fears torture if he hands himself in. We are scared for our lives for what happened to our colleagues in PA prisons in Jericho and Dahiriye. The torture there is unheard of. The Israelis and Americans haven't done what the PA does to our people there. The worst torture methods are used in Jericho. There are no taboos there. Nothing is prohibited there. For now, the gunmen live in the camps openly. They are both feared and supported because they have political cover from President Abbas's rivals, mainly Mohammed Dahlan, a former Fatah strongman. Dahlan is currently in the United Arab Emirates, but is said to be planning a political comeback. The economic situation in the West Bank and Gaza is being used by Arab regimes in the ugliest way through supporting Dahlan to create problems. And that's an Israeli plan Arab regimes are implementing. But the Palestinian Authority say the gunmen in Balata, supported by Dahlan and others, are criminals. So, why don't they arrest and charge them? In our culture, history and values, camps are sensitive. I can't deal with a whole camp in the same way I deal with 10 outlaws. I can't get into the camp, not because I lack ability, capability or courage. I can't get in because of the population density. There's social, political and security sensitivities I can't ignore either, not just for security reasons. Camps are the symbolic address of refugees and Israeli oppression. I can't ignore that. Camps like these are symbolic and that makes them very important to Palestinian politicians. Now the people here are desperate for jobs. If somebody like Mohammed Dahlan can take advantage of that, it might give him the push that he needs. Dahlan has created a financial and political power base in the UAE. He enjoys the support of the Egyptian government and according to our sources, he is making moves with Hamas in Gaza where he was the Fatah representative. But he isn't without controversy. He was fired from the Fatah party in 2011 and in May that year was convicted in absentia of corruption by a court in Ramallah. For the residents of camps across the West Bank, the political fighting between the Palestinian Authority and its opponents on the outside is yet another burden that they must bear. They are now the third generation of refugees under occupation by Israel, poor and desperate. Imran Khan, Al Jazeera, Occupied West Bank.